It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi and today we're looking at the Black Shark 3 Xiaomi's third generation gaming phone and I see you happen to have one here so if I'm a... Okay. Yes. Sure. Oh well, yeah, there it is. Sure, just let's go. Grab it. Here in the box, we've got the Black Shark 3. Comes with a little uh, SIM card ejector tool, a small instruction manual and a sticker, and a basic protective case. Then we've got the phone itself, a USB charging brick, and USB-C cable. And I've got the game controller that basically just comes with the controller and the mounting part to attach it to the phone. Now, let's look at the specs of this phone and let's uh, play some games. The Black Shark 3 is 168 by 77 millimeters in size, being around 10 millimeters thick, but almost 11 millimeters at its thicker point, weighing in about 222 grams, so the phone definitely has some weight to it. It comes with a Snapdragon 865 with liquid cooling, and comes with either 8 or 12 gigs of DDR5 RAM, and 128 or 256 gigs of UFS3 storage. It's got a very nice and big 47 20 milliamp hour battery that supports 6 65 watts very fast charging. The display is a 6.67 inch AMOLED display that's got a 2400 by 1080 resolution with a 90 hertz refresh rate which at 500 nits is really quite bright. The cool thing about this display is the 270 hertz touch input sampling time which results in much faster response time from the screen. On the front it's got a 20 megapixel selfie camera and it's got the front facing dual speakers for a great stereo audio experience. Besides that, it's also got an in-screen fingerprint scanner. It does also come with a 3 camera setup with a 64 megapixel main cam, 30 megapixel wide angle and 5 megapixel portrait camera. Besides that, other notable things on the Black Shark 3 are the headphone jack, the charging port on the back of the phone which allows you to charge the phone with a 18 watt charger without interfering your grip while gaming, and it's got a special switch on the right side that is set to launch the Black Shark gaming mode. It's got 5G, it supports Wi-Fi 6 and the latest Wi-Fi bands, it's got a double nano SIM card slot and it comes with Joy UI, a special operating system that's derived from MIUI but optimized for gaming and as far as I know it's been uh, developed with the help of Tencent Gaming who know a thing or two about games. So that's it for all the tech specs, but how is the phone really? Well, it feels and looks pretty much like you'd expect the game phone to look. It does feel pretty nice in hand, it does have a good grip and it's got some weight to it which I personally don't really mind. The touch feels very responsive and it should be a lot more accurate. There's some LED lights on the back, which you can set in color and pattern uh, whenever you receive a notification or a call. A very cool feature is when you wake the phone up. I actually find that animation to look pretty cool. Also the animation for when you charge the phone also looks pretty cool. Then obviously there's the always on display, which uh, Xiaomi has on all their AMOLED displays now. And it's got one dedicated one for the black shark, as you can see right here. Also, I noticed that it looks like it actually comes with a screen protector already on the phone. You can see that uh, especially when I make more of a close-up like this right here. So, in a typical game, how is it? Well, personally, I like to play PUBG, which also happens to be a 10 cent game, so it was no surprise that it was very smooth. The phone seems to stay very fast and responsive throughout the game and I wouldn't be entirely sure how much the cooler will contribute to that, but I'd like to think that it probably will. The audio is also noticeably nice. I've made a stereo recording while playing this game right here and hopefully that does translate how good the audio quality is. Let's try out the camera and let's see how good it really is. Let's go. So here I've got the B10 Pro. It's got some pretty decent scores as you can see here from the Geekbench score and I've tried some other benchmark tests as well. 
The benchmark scores were actually very good, as you can see here with the 3D, it actually scored very, very high. What else did I notice? Well, charging using the fast watch charger is ridiculously fast and very satisfying. The battery is big enough to last you while gaming at 90 hertz for several hours, kind of depending on what game you play. Then the camera, well, the photos are kind of okay, acceptable as these three photos are shot using the main camera, the wide angle and the portrait lens. Selfies are, yeah, not that great, but they're okay. But realistically, you want this phone to perform well with gaming and its intention is not really to be a great camera. So there's that. Okay, so I had to punch this in as I've just received the Shark Fun Cooler Pro 2 for the phone as I was delayed a couple of days and I just got it. And this is an external cooling fan for the phone that you basically just attach to the back to cool the phone, mostly it's CPU and GPU. Just like the gamepad, it automatically detects it on the Black Shark over Bluetooth, so then from the Shark Space app you can set the fan in two speeds, either freeze or frozen, and you can set the color and the pattern of its LED light as well. This cooler does do a very good job as the back of the phone actually feels cold after a while of gaming, instead of being quite warm. It is powered over a USB-C cable and you gotta note that this has to be powered when in use. So is this a gimmick? Well, maybe, but if you're very serious about gaming, then I mean, why not? Then there's also a pro version of this Black Shark 3, which has a 5000 milliamp hour battery, a larger 10.7 inch display, and these very cool side buttons for gaming that will actually mechanically pop out. But this pro model comes at quite a large price tag. Talking about price, Xiaomi's Black Shark 3 came out in China in these three colors, starting at 34.99 RMB which is around 500 US dollars or a little over 450 euros, up to 4,000 RMB for the 12 gig RAM model with 256 gigs of storage. And that comes down to 575 US dollars or 517 euros. The Pro model starts at 46.99 RMB and is around 5,000 RMB for the 12 gig RAM model, which is around 720 US dollars or 650 euros making the Pro quite a lot more expensive than the regular version. I've put down some links to where you can find these phones online outside of China if you want to go and check them out. So what do I think of the Black Shark 3? Well, in terms of its looks, it's not your typical phone. It really screams I play games right up in your face. And I'm not really a big fan of the looks of these, but I do got to admit that it does look better than the Black Shark 1 and 2, so I would say it is an improvement in that regard. Its specs are very nice though, and here I'm referring to the 865 processor, the audio, the screen, especially the refresh rate and the touch sampling rate. The 90Hz uh, display is obviously not as fast as a 120Hz display, but it is very decent and its brightness is very good as well. And it definitely seems to be optimized for gaming with the special Joy UI. And especially with the controller, it is a pretty nice experience. In my opinion, when you get this phone, you probably want to get the controller with it. And you probably want to consider getting that cooler with it as well. I mean, if you're dropping your hard earned dough on a dedicated game phone, you probably want to do it right. Also, one downside of using the game controller is that when you have it mounted, that the headphone jack is no longer accessible. So that is a little bit disappointing. I personally would have loved to see a left and a right handle though, because I would like the game with two thumbsticks, but it is better than not having one at all, that's for sure. Other accessories that you can get with the phone include these in-ears, which are nothing that special other than matching the looks of the phone, so that's about it for the all new Black Shark 3. It's a pretty cool phone that's really 100% focused on gaming with a special look that's not for everyone. But if it's for you, well, you know who you are. What do you guys think of the Black Shark 3? Is this something you'd be picking up? Is it what you hoped it would be and why or why not? Let me know down here in the comment section what you guys think. And don't forget to leave a like below this video to show me that you've liked it. And maybe subscribe to this channel as I'm doing a lot of videos about Xiaomi products and products from Xiaomi's ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.